What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are, my name is Morgan. I am currently almost 28 weeks pregnant with my first baby. It's gonna be a girl and we are so excited. Um, but in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a recap of my second trimester of pregnancy now that I'm entering the third trimester. Um, if you haven't already seen my first trimester recap, definitely go check that out first. Um, just because you'll be able to see the differences of like how different the second trimester has been. Um, my first trimester was very, very difficult. Um, and I, I won't say that the like second trimester wasn't, it was just different. Um, as pregnancy goes, I guess. So yeah, so let's jump into, I made some notes. Um, I started making notes like week by week, kind of like I did in my first trimester, but I stopped that at like 20 weeks and I'm just gonna kind of like go off of what I can remember. Um, and this is gonna be kind of, it might be a little all over the place cause I'm going off the top of my head, but hopefully I remember everything and get everything out. Okay, so the most exciting thing probably about the second trimester has been feeling baby girl's movements. Um, we found out, well actually we found out the gender I believe when I was 15 weeks, um, or 14 or 15 weeks, but I took the NIPT blood test when I was like 12 weeks and so they, they had the results, we just didn't do our gender reveal until like 15 weeks. Um, my mom knew for a couple, it was just like, yeah, it was insane. But I felt her first, her very, very first movement pretty early on. Um, Kobe. So I felt her first movement at, well not her first movement, but the first one I could feel um, fairly early on compared to when a lot of people do. And I honestly think that's just having to do with, um, I, with my medical past, I have like, I've had a lot of trauma kind of down in that area. And so I'm used to feeling like sensation down there and stuff um so i think i'm just very in tune with my body and i was very aware when i felt something so it was actually the day i turned 14 weeks i was laying in bed i think i was laying on my stomach actually um and i just felt like a little twitch and it happened twice okay i had to get him a different non-squeaky toy <laughs> um anyways so i felt the first movement at, like i said the day or the night that i turned 14 weeks um and i yeah i don't know how I knew, like looking back now that I know what her movements feel like and as they progressed and stuff, like I definitely know that it was that. I was doubting myself a little bit because I'm like, this is so early on, especially for being my first baby. Um, but yeah, I felt her at 14 weeks. That said though, her movements did not get more, like I didn't feel it then again for probably a week and they were very like, um, not consistent at all until like, gosh, I want to say like 17 weeks. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, I said I wrote down that at 17 weeks I was feeling movement still like here and there. But I would say 20 weeks is when I really started to feel things. So 20 weeks is when I feel like they got a little bit more regular, which still actually even for that is pretty early on. But again, I think it just has to do with me being very like aware of my body, if that makes sense. So, okay. Starting week 14 was kind of like the first week of the second trimester or whatever. Um, I wrote down that I felt the first movement. I was nauseous at like 10.30 p.m. pretty much every night. Um, it was really weird. It was the same time of night. Overall nausea though and just like tiredness was it got like a lot better starting at week I think 15 or 16. Um, but definitely starting the second trimester like i started to feel better than i was feeling in the um in the first trimester i made a note here specifically on week 15 that i started feeling better overall so that was like praise jesus much 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 better than i was the first trimester um and then also week 15 i felt like my belly like became more visible um which i was really excited about obviously every time that i feel like my belly has grown and is becoming more visible i get so excited and all i wear is like well when i'm home all i wear basically is my husband's like shirts or shirts that i've bought from airy um that are like i think they're called the boyfriend tee or something i bought a couple of them and they're so freaking comfortable so i'll just be wearing that and like either underwear 
or like my husband's boxers or something like that. Just comfy, comfy, comfy at home. Um, but when I'm like going out or something and need to be in public and need to be seen by other humans, then I'm wearing like tight stuff like bodycon dresses and stuff like this. I'll show you guys the bump here at the end of the video. Um, but just because I like showing my little my little bump off. Kobe, are you just making an appearance in the corner right there? Are you the cutest? I love you. Okay, so then week 16 was so amazing because we had our first 4D ultrasound. Um, and she, it was like amazing to see the difference between just a normal ultrasound and the 4D. If you guys have an opportunity to get an, a 4D ultrasound, I highly recommend it, especially if it's your first pregnancy, just because like it, it made her feel like more of a human than just like a thing if that made if that makes sense like it, it made her more real to me um and so we saw her like yawning and she even smiled a couple times and she was playing with the umbilical cord and we have learned about this baby girl she is very very active <laughs> she is constantly moving and also constantly covering her face every ultrasound like i said i'm now 28 weeks almost in a couple days here um every single ultrasound that we've had she has been covering her damn face and not wanting to be seen. I'm like, let me see your cute face, girl. I want to see what you look like. But she's just being stubborn. So we may not know what she's going to look. I mean, we really won't know what she's going to look like until she's here, I guess. But I don't know. Okay, week 17 was pretty eventful. I made several notes that I will read right now. So first one um, was that I... My appetite was like returning. I found that I was definitely able to eat more. I will say overall in the second trimester, I, um, I'm able to eat a lot more, um, quantity wise, but also just like as far as variety goes, because you guys know, if you watch my first video, um, or my first trimester video, I was so limited. I was eating like only fruit. I still do eat a lot of fruit. Fun fact, by the way, I used to be allergic to pineapple, not like a major allergy, just like my throat would kind of close up a little bit, like not really bad, but just get kind of swollen. Um, and I would eat it every once in a while anyways, cause it wasn't that bad. Um, but that is gone now and I eat so much pineapple. Like it's been a major craving and it's so good here right now, this time of year. So I've been eating a lot of that. Um, that's been a craving. I was also craving Polish pickles and deli mustard. If you guys have not had Polish pickles specifically, like I'm not even, I don't know. The whole pickle thing during pregnancy it has been very real for me. Like I love pickles, um, but Polish pickles specifically, oh my God, so good. If you haven't tried them, you need to get your hand on it, especially if you're a pregnant woman. I was also finding that my belly was getting very, very, very big and bloated at night. Um, so that just obviously continues and is continuing even still and getting much, much, much bigger. It's like, it's funny because I wrote down that I felt big at week 17 and now I'm at week almost 28 and I'm like, girl, if you only knew. <laughs> um, okay. Also, this is the week that I got my snoogle. My husband ordered me a snoogle, which is a pregnancy pillow. And if you are pregnant at all, like I don't even care how early on, you just found out you're pregnant, you're like six weeks, order yourself a Snoogle. Literally, it is life-changing. It is so comfortable. Um, I'm saying the Snoogle just because that's the one that I have because that's what he ordered, but I know there's like plenty of different pregnancy pillows, but oh my God, made sleep so much more comfortable because during... Um, like this phase of pregnancy during the second trimester is when your body starts to change and stuff and you feel bigger and it's kind of harder to get comfortable. Um, so yeah, the snoogle made a huge difference for me. I was also feeling dehydrated like constantly starting around week 17. Um, no matter how much water I would drink, I just always felt dehydrated, especially at night. Like I would get in bed and be like, oh my God, I did not drink enough water today. Like, and I would feel sick to the point, like dehydrated to the point of feeling sick, even though if I, I had been drinking like plenty of water, which is really weird. So I just felt like, again, this is kind of a recurring thing actually, like throughout my entire pregnancy, one of my first um, symptoms was that like insatiable thirst that has like kept up. It's just been even more and more of a thing. Um, okay. This is a TMI thing that I have to share because it is so weird. And I ran it by my doctors and stuff and they were like, I mean, it could be related to the weight loss surgery that you've had um, and like between like a mix of that and the hormones or something. But you guys, starting around week 16 or 17, and this lasted until like week, I want to say week 24, um, I would get diarrhea 
every time I would eat a vegetable. <laughs> That sounds so crazy. And okay, so mind you, I'm someone who eats a lot of vegetables. Like I don't eat meat. Um, I'm a vegetarian pretty much. And um, I enjoy vegetables. Like I, I'm talking any vegetable, you guys. It just, it was the weirdest thing. I started, I started just like getting diarrhea, right? Like having loose stools and stuff. And I, it was like, very uncomfortable and I was struggling to stay hydrated then too and um, I ended up I, at first I didn't know like what was causing it but I narrowed it down to literally any time I would eat vegetables like with something it, it didn't matter like it, it was just vegetables were the only like common variable anytime that I would get diarrhea now I still don't know what was causing it. I, like I said, it stopped around week like 24. My stomach is still sensitive to some vegetables, so I don't eat like real like leafy, leafy greens or something. Um, but I'll have some veggies like here and there and stuff. Well, actually, a lot more than I was. Um, but it sucked because like I would be craving vegetables, like craving vegetables. Like like I said, like I enjoy veggies, right? And. I like couldn't eat them because they would make me so sick. It was the weirdest thing. Like I would get a Beyond Burger, for example. I was doing fine still with meat substitutes. Um, but I, so like if we're ever eating out or something or we need to do fast food, a lot of times we would do like A&W because they have the Beyond Burger, right? I couldn't get the Beyond Burger um, with lettuce and tomato and like onion the way that it comes. I would just have to get like the plain patty if that makes sense like it, it was just so weird you guys like it was honestly super miserable too because I felt like I was eating like I had such a small like thing like options when it came to what I could eat because everything was making me sick I still don't know what was causing it like I said I ran it by my high rest my high risk doctor and my normal OB and they both were like yeah that's really weird um but just yeah a mix of the like pregnancy hormones and then also the fact that you've had the weight loss surgery like sometimes it can cause weird stuff um so i am so thankful that that is gone but that was a long like several months couple months um that i was dealing with that and it was absolutely miserable if any of you have dealt with that <laughs> i would love to know so that i don't feel so crazy i like again i really do people are my doctors even were like well like could it be something else like that you're not realizing and i paid very close attention to like what it could be and i seriously i narrowed it down i couldn't narrow it down to anything but veggies so yeah, that was just weird. Anyways, I know that's a TMI thing and we just talked about it for a while, but I had to share that. Okay, um, on to week 18. I My first note was just that my anxiety was very high and my mood was very low. I have dealt with clinical anxiety and depression um, for years now. It's just been a part of my life. I'm on medication. I take Zoloft and Lamictal um, as well as bipolar disorder, I forgot to mention. Um, so I did not have to get off of those medications. Um, however, I was told that Lamictal can be less effective. That's the one that's for my bipolar. Um, it can be less effective when you're pregnant. And I chose not to raise the dose um, without kind of seeing like what was going on just because I didn't, I, I want to be on as little medication as possible while I'm pregnant. Um, but yeah, so... I just noticed a big difference and I still have noticed a big difference. Honestly, pretty much my entire pregnancy, like if you guys saw my last video, I think it's literally just called <laughs> I'm struggling. Um, I have not felt like myself when it comes to my mood. Um, I'm in an okay place right now, but I still have like a hard time feeling motivated and like my normal self, if that makes sense. Um, but week 18, week 18, that was very like prominent like i had some very depressed days where i was just in bed like all day i also wrote that my energy started to dip again so i had a couple weeks after um like coming out of my first trimester and starting the second one that um i was feeling a lot better but then week 18 like my energy just started to dip um i was still having like skin stuff i know it's kind of difficult because i'm wearing makeup right now so you can't really see but i had a lot a lot a lot of like 
breakouts and stuff around specifically my chin, which all the like around the mouth area is like hormonal. Um, so I knew it was because of pregnancy and stuff. And it's still, it's getting a little bit better. Um, I've tried to really be good with my skincare routine and I also have been getting, I've had two hydrofacials. Um, and those seem to have really helped. Also at week 18, um, I wrote a note that I was like feeling movement pretty much every day, um, at least once. So that was, that was really cool. That's again, like my favorite part of pregnancy. Week 19, my anxiety was still very high. I was having a lot of sleepless nights. Um, the movement was way more consistent. My energy was still low. I had a fainting spell type thing, not spell. I basically, I caught myself, thank God, I was in the shower and I um, started to faint and I knew it was coming so I kind of like ca caught my fall and I ended up like falling out of the shower but sort of on purpose, like I knew I was fainting, I knew I was going down so I like braced myself and I kind of just went into the, like out of the shower and into the floor, or onto the floor type thing and my husband was right in the other room, thank God, and I was like, babe, babe, babe. And he came and helped me get into bed. Um, but that's what made me think that I may possibly be anemic. So at my next doctor appointment, I was like, hey, I think I might be anemic again. And the thing is, I'm prone to iron deficiency anemia, especially because I have had weight loss surgery, right? Now, and also like anemia can be common during pregnancy for people who aren't prone to it. But for whatever reason, my doctor was just like not, because I had been drawn early in my pregnancy, my blood had been drawn and my blood count was fine. Um, he just like didn't believe that I was anemic and I was like, no, like I really feel like I am. Um, and yeah, he just like was like, okay, I mean we can draw it or whatever. Turns out I just found out a couple days ago that I am indeed iron deficient anemic. So um, I'm glad to know about it. I've been taking these Nature Made Iron. It's just like 325 milligrams of um, ferrous sulfate. I'm hoping that my body responds well to it. It has in the past. I don't know if it'll be different because I'm pregnant, um, but I'm really hoping that the my iron levels start to go up because I'm sick of feeling like tired and fainty and gross. But yeah, that was kind of scary. Week 19 when I fainted, almost fainted. Um, thankfully, I caught it again. That was a big blessing. Um, I had also, I started to get like a much bigger nighttime appetite that has maintained. Um, I still, <sighs> your girl's appetite is back and it's, yeah, I'm the holding on to this extra weight is, it's been a very, very weird experience for me. Um, because if you guys don't know about like my past, I had lost 115 pounds. I'd gone from being almost 300 pounds to then losing that weight. Um, and so it was difficult on my body even just losing the weight. Like I found I was having back issues and stuff and joint problems because it my body just, it was like a shock to my system. Um, carrying so much weight and then losing it and then now gaining more weight, it's very uncomfortable. Um, I do also deal with chronic inflammation and so that's another symptom that I've had, which is normal for pregnancy, but then also, you know, me dealing with that. I, my fingers get very swollen. My feet, oh my God, when I flew, they were like huge. And my face also, I have found um, just like, yeah, it, it swells up and it's been weird. And it's been a mental struggle to say the least, putting on weight and just like not really knowing how to feel about it. I know it's like, you know, it's just part of the process and I'll be able to get back down and everything after the baby. And this is my number one priority right now. Um, but yeah, just being real, it's been a struggle. So anywho, I think, let's see, what else can I think of? So I, like I said, I stopped taking notes at week 20. Um, and I'm now at, oh, the anatomy scan. Okay, so it's typically done at week 20 because I was traveling back to California for all of my appointments. I didn't have it done until week 22. Everything looks good, although she wasn't fully cooperating and they um, weren't able to see a few things. So again, she had her hands in front of her face and stuff and was moving around a ton. Um, but we had to go back and I just had my like follow-up anatomy scan at 26 weeks and everything looks absolutely perfect. Baby girl is healthy as can be and she's just so cute too. I just love every ultrasound we get to see is like my favorite thing ever. Um, so yeah, definitely getting to the point where I'm feeling uncomfortable. 
Um, I'm out of breath constantly just from like talking. Everything, literally everything feels like a task. Like putting my makeup on is like, oh, I'm exhausted after doing that. Um, we did get a dog though, Kobe, like you guys saw at the beginning of the video. And it has been great for me um, to, he's been like, I've been a lot more active just getting outside with him and stuff and just having like fresh air and stuff you know getting outside is really good for my mood um but also like just being more active with him we go to the park like every day and run around and stuff with him so um it's just been good for my overall health okay guys it's much later in the day it's actually the evening time now almost 10 p.m and what happened is my camera died and then i actually realized i was running late to kobe's vet appointment so i didn't get to finish the video i was pretty much done um i was just kind of finishing up on like a few other observations so i thought it would be a good opportunity come closer to have danny yeah, but... <laughs> my husband come on and tell me so i want you to tell them like any observations you've made of me <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at this handsome fella. So look at this handsome boy. Hi, Kobe. Hi, Kobe. Are you so sweet? <laughs> hey, buddy. Come on up. Are you so cute? He's like, what is that? What is oh that? God. What is that? Anyways, so I want you to talk about any observations you've had on changes that I have been, that you've noticed about me in the second trimester. Physically, mentally, habits I've been, weird things I've been doing, anything like that. Because <laughs> I know the first one you're going to talk about is me being dumb. We were talking about... Well, that came later. Came yeah. Later towards the end of the second trimester. Uh, but the biggest <laughs> thing is I've noticed second trimester, less... You can be honest. Less sickness. Okay. Less you feeling sick. Um, eating more. Yes. Um... But being more picky with your food, like some days she'll like something and then the next day she'll be like, I don't want that in any shape or form, like get it away from me. Yeah, that's true. Which is really weird, but um, it makes it so that I can eat her leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what else? Uh, a little more irritable, a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can Emotional. say you can be like you can be honest about whatever mm -hmm. like observation she's, you make. She's almost Most left, of it's she's emotional. almost left me like three times. <laughs> I like I won't even lie, like I've had like, like I've had full-on breakdowns like where I've been yeah like going absolutely crazy and it's like the way I explained it to him is kind of like I honestly feel it's like fighting depression sort of like fighting this like negative energy that's always it's like a voice in my head it's like making me like insecure and like just not feel like my normal self which I've talked about and stuff but it's something what but it's something that he's noticed too Mm. And well, because there's like a few days where I was like, "What's going on? Like, what's what's like? You just seem off, blah blah blah." And yeah. then she would like break down and tell me like, you know, of course there's stuff in our relationship that I can always get better at, and that she can always get better at. But it was a lot of like, me, 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 me. And I was like, okay, well, yeah. I'll, I'll do my best to fix those things, and then I would, you know, improve them. Like not fix overnight, but improve. And then all yeah. of a sudden she was still upset, and so I was like, you know, like what's what's going on? It's then? like I was looking took, for something to blame. Yeah, it took like one big conversation for uh, her to realize what was kind of going on. Like, you didn't even realize until we had that conversation. No. And we had the conversation, and then she kind of realized what was all going on, and then I was just, you know, originally I was emotional and kind of frustrated too, but then at the end, I was just kind of there for her in that, in that moment in time. Yeah. Um. What other What other changes? Any, like, habits that um, I'm doing? Or... You're not, like, as sick, but you do, like, lay down a bit more. Yeah, I'm a lot more, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with being anemic too talked about that in the video mm -hmm. but um yeah but then <laughs> and then in the last like i would say like two weeks it's just been like major pregnancy brain like to the point where the start <laughs> i was like upsetting her because i was like trying to just question like what why would you like why would you do that and i would get like and, and like i know that, that i'm being like super ditzy so i'm like don't make me feel bad for being don't make me feel stupid like so then at first i'm like trying to figure out like why is she stupid? Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, like, as like the days go on, and then also I see like little more little stuff, and I'm like, babe, what are you, what are you doing right now? And she's like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, and she'll laugh. I'm like, okay. I, I, gotta, I didn't realize how real. I just gotta chill out, and just like remind myself that it's just. We just have to laugh at it at yeah. this point, like because it's just, yeah. like littlest things, like even when I'm driving, oh, like, man. like it's if it gets worse, I'm gonna drive, <laughs> like. 
it's yeah it's pretty bad but I did talk about in the video though how we've had Kobe and how that's been actually really good for me to like get us outside and stuff mm -hmm. and have a little bit of a routine and whatnot but yeah for you to have company when, when I'm gone working. yeah yeah so I'm just trying to have as many good days as possible now and be as productive as possible because this is, a lot of days have been difficult lately mentally um like I talked about in my last video I'm but so high energy right now I'm sorry are you like, like looking at myself, looking here, I'm freaking making faces. It's like. okay. I love you. Okay, I think that's all, guys. I just wanted to get his input and kind of observations that he's had. But he's been very, very patient and very helpful. And he just mm -hmm. came home with groceries and a full tank of gas for me. So that has been lovely. Okay, baby. Thank you for being in my video. So guys, I'm just editing this footage and I realized that I forgot to actually film the bump shot and give you guys an update of the belly, so are you ready here? Girl, there she is. Little sissy girl is, she's just got me feeling huge. <laughs> oh God, it looks really big right now too. Yeah, so I, it's hard to imagine how much she still has left to grow. The doctor says that she is, at this point in the pregnancy, she'll be putting on about, um, like a half a pound a week so let's hope that mama doesn't put on much more than that because i am very uncomfortable in my body right now um it's just it's weird to be hi kobe boy it's weird to be carrying this much weight again um but yeah this is what oh my god this is what the belly's looking like what do you think cobes what do you think are you excited to meet your sissy huh are you gonna love her so much are you so excited <laughs> So yeah, guys. Whoa! <laughs> you saying hi to her right now? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. If you do like this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know. Because I like to know what kind of videos you guys actually want to see. It motivates me to make more. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!